Welcome to this powerful ancestral healing meditation. I often recommend slowly sipping a cup of hot raw cacao before embarking on ancestral healing as cacao is sacred plant medicine that has been used by women in South America for thousands of years to channel divine feminine energy and connect more deeply with other women. When imbibed with intention, cacao, like other sacred plant medicines, can help us elevate to higher states of consciousness and more expanded states of awareness. This meditation will work just fine without it, but the power of the outcome may be intensified by using cacao to enhance the experience. So now, let us begin. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to ground you to this present moment. Energy. 
take breath from the earth beneath you and from the landscape all around you. Breathe earth energy deep into your body. You are of nature. You are the forests and the oceans and the mountains and the plains and the jungles and the fields. Feel your sense of belonging to the earth. The cells of your body and the energy of your being connecting with her. Breathe fire energy from the core up and open your first chakra. You are opening the lotus of your root chakra, the deep, dark, red rotating disc of energy at the base of your spine that grounds you to the earth with the deep red colour of desert earth. You are at one with creation. You have the right to be here. The earth is your home and you are not alone. You are in fact connected to all your ancestors who came before you. Allow their presence and allow the images from your life story and theirs to start drawing close. They live in your body, in your cells and in your DNA. Your body was created by their energies. Now in your relaxed and open state and empowered by the divine feminine energy that resides inside of you, ask your female ancestors to draw close and tell you what in your lineage is holding you back. What could be causing blocks, burdening you? Call forth your female ancestors. It could be a woman you've never met or even heard about. Or it could be a grandmother, one who is much beloved, or one who you didn't have a good relationship with. The ones who are meant to come will make themselves known to you. Call them forth, ask them to be here with you, in order to not only emancipate you from their ties, but to emancipate them from it too, and to enable us to break those intergenerational wounds and prevent them from being passed down any further. woman drawing close to you. Who is she? Get a sense of her energy. You don't have to be able to see her in her whole form.
forms don't exist where she is, and she will show you whichever part of her she wants you to see. What was her life like? Where was she lacking? Where was there scarcity? In which ways was she in bondage? Breathe in and know that your heart beating is also the heart of your ancestors, with all their fears, sadness, hunger, hatred and discrimination. Breathe out and know that you also carry the indomitable strength, resilience, courage, resourcefulness and wisdom of the women before you. And now you will break free from the ties that bind you to their bondage. Now go within with your ancestor or ancestors. Your ancestor may have suffered greatly, or perhaps she lived in a society that valued her for her contributions, but did she truly have opportunities, or were her contributions based on what society allowed her to provide, to achieve, to do? Did she truly have choices? Even those of our female ancestors who we knew, perhaps a grandmother who seemed happy to us, had far fewer opportunities to be expressed in her true authentic self than you do right now. She first had responsibilities to uphold, and for that we must grieve and release. Allow that knowledge to integrate, and give her the recognition she deserves for this. Feel her pain deep in your core. She carried so much on her shoulders. She wept silent tears of pain. Perhaps she bore children in dire conditions. She sweated and bled and cried without anyone noticing or acknowledging her pain. She was made to feel worthless, lower than the men around her, that her value and her worth were based on nothing more than her ability to bear children and cook food. She carried shame and pain and self-loathing and fear, and had no terminology for them. She did what she was told to do, because she had no choices. What different choices could she have made if it was today? More importantly, what choices can you make today? on her behalf that will emancipate you both from the bondage that ensconced her. The joy
choices you decide to make for your own growth, your health, your life, based on the choices you have as a free and sovereign woman can release her. She's with you, she's in your heart, she's in your belly, she's in your DNA, she's in part of you every time you bleed. What does she need? What does she need you to tell her right now? How can you free her and by doing so, free yourself? and all future generations from the chains that bound her. By freeing her, you free all women. We're all connected. When one of us is in pain, the rest suffer. Tell her you are letting go now, for her and for you and for all future generations of girls to come after you. You are letting go of anything that binds you to these patterns, these subconscious choices that see the same behaviours perpetuated and the same outcomes and feelings arise because of them. You are making the choices she needs you to make. You are making them for her and you are making them for you and you are making them for the girls and women who will come after you. I choose to release. I release. I release anything in my ancestral lineage that is preventing me from being truly free and sovereign. I release for me. I release for my mother. I release for my grandmothers. I release for my great grandmothers and the ones before them. I choose to release. See your ancestor now light, ready to be freed from the bricks that weighed her down to this earth when she should have been able to soar into other astral planes. Notice her expression now, the lightness of her being. She's ready to finally soar, but before she goes, she gives you a gift, perhaps a crystal, a piece of jewellery, a photograph, something from the earth, anything that will enable you to let go of all her woes, while holding on to her strength and power 
and divinity as a woman in your ancestral lineage. What is the gift and what does it symbolize for you? Bid her farewell, this soul woman who has done so much for you, has given you so much, and who can now be liberated into her soul's astral destiny. See the roots of Mother Earth and the stars of the cosmic universe meeting in unison right now, allowing for all this healing to take root and unfold right before your eyes. As you let it go, you let it go. You let it all go. For them. For her. For you. Take a few deep breaths to ground yourself back to the present moment. And when you're ready, and only when you're ready, open your eyes. Take a few moments here to journal about anything that came up for you during this ancestral healing meditation.